All right, Spider-Man fans, the question on everyone's mind as we look ahead to Marvel's Spider-Man 3 is simple. Will Peter Parker come back in a major way? And should he? We've seen Peter pass the torch to Miles Morales and fans have absolutely loved seeing Miles step up and evolve. But for so many of us, Peter Parker is the Spider-Man we've grown up with and there's something powerful about having the original Spider-Man back in action, especially as the story builds towards something big. Think about it after the events of Spider-Man 2 where Peter stepped back a little. A lot of fans feel like the franchise hasn't given him a true meaningful send-off yet. And let's be real, if Marvel and Insomniac are planning to make Spider-Man 3 the last big title in this series, wouldn't it make sense for Peter to come back for one final unforgettable ride? Now here's the thing. Bringing Peter back doesn't mean Miles should take a back seat. Actually, it could mean the opposite. Imagine a game where both Spider-Men share the spotlight equally, with Peter guiding Miles as a mentor, not just on the field but in life. The two could have different missions, strengths and styles, with players switching between them to tackle different parts of the story. This could open up some incredible gameplay dynamics where Peter's experience and Miles' raw energy team up in a way we haven't seen before. Plus, what about some of the plot theories swirling around? There's speculation that Peter's story could take a darker turn, maybe influenced by the new villains. Picture Peter facing off against someone like Craven the Hunter, or even the return of Green Goblin, leading to moments where he has to confront his own past choices. That's something that could get into the complex, emotional side of Peter. We don't always see when he's just on his friendly neighborhood Spider-Man beat. On the fan side, it's not just nostalgia driving this wish to see Peter in the spotlight again. The character is iconic for a reason he's been through more loss and growth than almost any hero out there and bringing him back could hit that perfect balance of emotional storytelling that would resonate with longtime fans and newcomers alike. It could bring a deeper level to the story that we don't always get with fresh heroes who haven't faced those same hardships. Imagine Peter's final arc where he's truly pushed to his limits and ends up passing his experiences on to Miles in a way that feels, well, legendary. And here's where it could get really interesting. If they introduce Silk into the mix, we'd be looking at a story with three unique spider-powered characters, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. This opens up a world of possibilities not just for gameplay, but for emotional storytelling. How will Peter handle the pressure of mentoring both Miles and a new hero like Silk? And would Silk's introduction bring Peter some emotional closure, especially after losing Gwen? So, the big question is, could Spider-Man 3 be the game that gives Peter Parker the full circle story he deserves? The one that finally cements his place in this universe before he steps back for good? Whatever direction Insomniac takes, one thing's clear. If they do this right, it could be the most powerful and memorable entry in the series. Miles might be the future, but Peter Parker is and always will be the heart of Spider-Man. Let's hope we see him back in action, swinging through New York one last time.